What's going on guys? It's Trevor from Treblog HD here and today I'm doing something I've never really done. I'm actually here to have a bit of a rant because uh, since I've updated my uh, my S4 to, to Lollipop, you know, because I thought, hey, you know, it's Lollipop, is out, might as well have some fun with it. You know, I still got all my other phones, but I thought, let me use my S4 as a daily driver, okay? And I used it for a reason, you know, because I wanted to see if Lollipop was really worth upgrading to. And I've heard nothing but problems with it. I mean, some features work fine, but I've heard more problems with it than anything else. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just been problems after problems from the word get-go. I mean, yeah, first things first, the lock screen works fine. You know, the lock screen works perfect. I'll be lying if I say there's anything wrong with the lock screen. Uh, it works perfectly fine. I use the pattern lock screen. It works perfectly fine, as you can tell. That works fine. But the problem comes when you start to try to customize your phone. You know, which is what Android is. Android is more customization, it's more fun, you know, you can change things that you don't like. We'll start my first problem. Problem number one. I wanna add a widget on my homepage. They've gotten rid of the widgets from the app draw, they're not there anymore, which is fair enough. They're just trying to be like, you know, uh, Android Lollipop, you know, the way Android Lollipop is, you, you know, you're supposed to hold an empty space, like you do. So I'll hold on the empty space and I'll go on widgets because I want a widget. Go on widgets. Then uh, it opens up the widget. Uh, let's find one I want. I want the Google widget, uh, the Google search one. Let's say this one right here. Yep, perfect. Let's put it on. Hold it. And that happens. Then for some reasons, it takes me back to the settings. I have no idea why, but it does that. That's, the, that's problem number one I've found so far at the moment, which is really, really, really annoying. So yeah, for some reasons, it would not let me put widgets on my home screen, which is a bit ludicrous considering like, you know, it's Android. Android is all about customization. You know, I want to put stuff on my home screen. That's what Android is all about. I want to move things around, change things if I don't like how something looks. Okay, let's try this one. Again, same thing. It will not let you move things to the home page. And this is on the TouchWiz launcher that I'm using right now. Okay, the official Samsung one, TouchWiz Home Launcher, which is, again, a nightmare. It's really, really frustrating. You know, I just want a freaking search bar on top. But it's not going to let me because it's TouchWiz. You know, I mean, it doesn't work with touch reason. I've been trying to use it for the past, like I said, for the past week. And again, I've been having nothing but problems with it. Okay, another thing that's really, really annoying. Okay, let's go in settings. Oh yeah, by the way, the app draw looks really, really nice. I like it. But anyways, let's go into settings. We're going into settings. Okay, like you do on, let's say, the Note 4. You swipe around to find what you're looking for. But wait, wait, hold up. It's, it, it doesn't let you. All you can do you select the tabs right at the top, then it moves over to whatever tab you want it. It won't let you swipe through them for some reason. Even at the top, as you can see, it won't let you do it. Why? Why not? You know what I mean? It's some, it, you know, it, it's, it makes it a lot easier, you know, for people to move from left to right that way. You know what I mean? People are used to that. That's what you do on your homepage. Like, here's a homepage. You move from left to right to go on to different options. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier. But with this new update, it doesn't it doesn't even let you. I mean, it's not like the old update did, but we thought, you know, since they were trying to unify it, you know, make them all look pretty similar. Like, you know, the S5 does it, the Note 4 does it. Well, how come this one doesn't do it with the update? You know what I mean? It's really, really, really annoying. And I really, I really hate it. Now, another thing. There's a lot of restarts. I don't know, for some weird reasons, um, after I installed the update, uh, I get random restarts for no apparent reason whatsoever. And I still don't know what that reason is. For some reason, the phone will just randomly restart itself. And the only thing you can do is wait for it to decide to start working again, which is really, really annoying. I never had any of these problems while I was on KitKat. Okay, while I was on KitKat, the phone was running perfect. 4.4.2, I was on, I think, yeah. The phone was running perfectly fine. There was no problems whatsoever. Then all of a sudden, we get the Lollipop update, and there's a lot of issues. You know, a lot of people were complaining when the S5 got the update, but then again, they pushed another update to kind of address quite a lot of those features, which is pretty cool, I guess. But with this one, it's been a complete nightmare uh, on the S4 at the moment. I'm hoping Samsung are working on something you know, to kind of get all this stuff fixed uh, because it is really, really, really frustrating. You see, guys, the thing is, right, with this whole issue with moving things on Android, it's gotten so bad to a point where even if you try to move an application to your home screen, okay, I want Dropbox on my home screen. Okay, stand, do what you do on any other Android phone. Hold it and put it on. No, with the touch freeze launcher running on there, it's not going to let me, and for some reasons, it's taking me to my gallery. I have no idea why it's taking me to my gallery. 
That is annoying. That is really, really annoying. And I've seen the same problem because I, I tried, uh, what's it called? I updated uh, one of my friends as far as well, and he was having the exact same issues. He said this really annoying him. He's thinking of getting rid of the phone because it's not working properly. And as you can tell, it does that weird little lag thing. I don't know what's causing that, but it's really, really annoying. And I don't think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. I think, you know, to be honest with you guys, if I was one of y'all who owns an S4, I would wait on updating the S4 to Lollipop because you're going to have quite a lot of problems with it. There's, there are a lot of problems with it at the moment that really do need addressing ASAP. I hope Samsung know what they're doing. Guys, the other thing that's a big, big pain in the backside is the fact that storage is a nightmare on this phone, okay? The S4 was slated ages ago when it was released, you know, for the fact that you only came with a certain amount of storage, you know, but to get Lollipop running on this phone, you will need about an extra one gigabyte on top of that missing storage you already have. You know, so if you're a person who uses a lot of applications like I do, you, you know, you're gonna struggle. I had to delete a lot of pictures and videos in application simply because of the storage issue which is an actual nightmare you know the phone's supposed to come with 16 gb internal memory right if you're one of those people like uh you don't really know much about uh what's it called sd cards and all that kind of stuff you probably won't go and buy an sd card you know what i mean it's not everybody who knows about it you know what i mean but if you look on my phone i mean 6.75 of the memory was used simply by the operating system okay this is simply just the operating system you know you think samsung would have learned from what they did when they actually launched the s4 that you know they would have learned and fixed that problem and got rid of certain things that they don't really need in a phone you know what i mean but 6.75 in the 16 gb model you're not really gonna enjoy your phone that much you know i mean fair enough i still got my sd card that's the reason why i ended up getting an sd card when i didn't really need it but it's freaking annoying you know i really don't like it uh i mean like i said i don't have the same problems on my note my note it runs perfectly you know what i mean my a5 the a5 i did a review on that was perfect it's just on the s4 they kind of overdone it a little bit i think you know they kind of tried to fit way too much in one fold and it did really work out as well as they wanted it to to be perfectly honest which i mean the phone is still a great phone you know it still does everything you want it to do it still runs smoothly and all that well, when it decides to when touchwiz is not doing its uh dirty work but at the same time, guys, it's really, really annoying. You know what I mean? You lose a lot of memory. I've only got 608, wait, 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 447 uh, megabytes of space here. I can't even update applications. When I try to, it just says you have insufficient memory, which is, again, really frustrating. I mean, a lot of people are going to be ticked off about it. You know, it's, like I said, it, it, I, I just pray Samsung know what they're doing because you can't really customize your phone anymore at the moment. The way things are, if you're using TouchWiz Launcher, you're not going to be able to customize your phone. Uh, okay, let's say I want to get rid of Play Store. Okay, I don't want it on my home screen anymore. Let's just move it. Let's do, let's get rid of it. Hold it down. Oh, again, Touch Reap's home launcher has stopped for some stupid reasons that nobody quite understands exactly why. It just randomly stops working. It, it's really frustrating. So, yeah, but like I was saying, it's, it's, it's a real nightmare at the moment with the whole customizations part of Android. I mean, it, I've kind of resorted to using uh, the... Um, the Google Launcher, because I love the, you know, the official uh, Google Launcher. It looks a lot better. So, yeah, yeah, I think it looks better and it's personally. So, yeah, I'm just going to switch back to that because, again, guys, it's better. It's quicker. I don't know. It, everything on it actually kind of works. You know, the animations on it look better and it is also, yeah, yeah, and I can still move things around, which is a bonus. I don't want the railway application, you know what? I'll get rid of it, remove a gun. It didn't crash, nothing bad happened, it carried on working. So yeah, I've actually gotten, uh, you know, I'm not using TouchWiz Launcher at the moment, you know, I, I never really used it in the, anyways in the past, I mean, but at the moment I've kind of gone off the whole TouchWiz on the S4 because of that. It's such a nightmare, you know, I tried for a few days thinking maybe, you know, because the phone has just been updated, you know, it's going to take you know, about a day or two for it to kind of settle with the update. But no, it did not. It just got worse. Okay. And there's been times where the phone has been kind of restarting itself for some weird reasons. I, I don't know. Or, you know, that one I can kind of let it go. But the whole customization part of it has really gotten to me. And it, it really got to me to a point where I'm just like, you know what, forget Toshwee's. Even on my note right now, I'm not using TouchWiz on the A5. I'm not using TouchWiz anymore. I'm just using 
the Google Launcher because I, I can. It, it looks better. It, you know, in my head, it looks better. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on using the Google Launcher. You know, for the time being. But yeah, I just thought let me let you guys know about it um, because this is something like I said, a friend of mine, you know, has been experiencing. Uh, I work in a phone shop. A person even came back with their S4 saying they updated their phone, then randomly stopped working. It's not working, right? It's restarting. It's refreshing. You know, for some for weird reasons and certain things are just not working. And it's the same thing. So that's again, that's really really annoying. You know, for a lot of people, it's gonna be really annoying. But I just hope personally, I hope Samsung fix it because uh, usually Samsung do fix you know their problems pretty quickly when they know about it. So yeah, let's just get the word out there to Samsung and tell you know so they know that there is a problem with the S4 at the moment, and hopefully they get it fixed as soon as possible. But anyways, guys, I just thought let me give you guys the heads up so you guys know what's going on with the S4 after the Lollipop update because it's been an issue for me. You know, it's been an issue for quite a few people. Like I said, I spoke to a few people and they've all said they're having the same problem. So, yeah, I just thought let me give you guys the heads up. But anyways, guys, subscribe, like, whatever. More videos will be coming out soon. You know, like I said, I'm straight up with my reviews. You know, I'm not one of those guys who pretend to like a brand or anything. If there's something I don't like, I will mention it and i'm not afraid to do it too so yeah like subscribe and i'm out guys y'all take care now peace